2020 and uh, we're just taking Colin out for a spin just to keep his little feet from clogging up and his engine, I don't know. Anyway, so we have decided just to zip up the A38 to go to Buckfast Abbey, Buckfast Abbey, um, where there's an abbey and there's bunks. And they make cider? Buckfast tonic wine. Tonic wine. Mm -hmm. um, that's where we're going, just to, just to blow the cobwebs out. So that's that. See you later. Hello, we are actually in um, Buckfast Abbey. I'm not quite sure what's going on. There's like um, a recorded history, whatever it is. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is a what is it? Oh, it's oh God, Relicry Shrine door. Made in France. I really thought that this was something I had to do. A door to what? About, it would have been a few years ago. Was that a true shrine? Who cares? A shrine that kept a relic, okay. What's this? That's bits of the original. Happy in this. Ah. Found on site. Can you just drive across the site to have a call in? Just come out of the gift shop, which didn't really have much, nothing of interest for me anyway. So that is that's the Abbey then, is it? So you got a different building there. What's the other? You got the bits with the pokey bits, and what's the other bit there then? There was an original Abbey here built in about 1019, okay. 1818 or something. Then that got left and run down a little bit and by the time of this illusion of the monastery there was only about 10 weeks left here so then the book that dissolved it um built a house here um bits of his house are still here i think that's that bit down there built okay. out of the stonework from the old abbey right and then they started building this one in about 1902 i think Finished in the 30s. Oh, it's nearly two o'clock. Yeah. Core Blimey Governor. Okay, we've got two Dartmoor crosses here. So there's one there, and there is one uh, there. Because we're sort of like, we're on the edge of Dartmoor, aren't we? Yeah. Mm. They just got brought here for safekeeping because they kept getting crashed into. Right? Say again? They got brought here for safekeeping because they kept getting crashed into where they were. Oh. Blinking scaffolding. Everywhere we go, scaffolding. So this is a lavender garden, which obviously we're out of season. And it's not in flower and it doesn't smell. It's been in the cafe but because it's two o'clock they're not serving food anymore. So here is a little garden which is just too wintry for words. This is another little garden with its own deer. Oh, there's ice. There was ice yeah. on it. Some other little gardeny thing. 
This bit they're all in Christian Chorus, that's the medicine, medicinal garden. This bit here? This quarter. Right. The other one was the household garden, was dyes and right. cleaning things. And, 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 and let's, let's see. Oh, got some water. This is, I have no idea. Where'd you read all that to? As you come in and then come back. So. Oh, right, I see. Oh, is that ice? Ooh, ice on the floor. It's come from in there, isn't it, I suppose. Ice, ice baby. Okay, so the poisonous section in there, oh. that's why it's got water around it so you yes. can't poison yourself. And culinary section. I don't know if you can actually go into the abbey. Mm. It's a bit disappointing. If you can't go into the abbey, isn't it? Mind you, we left a we left a bit too late um, to do anything really. Because so uh, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm sure you must be able to go in because you've got that that stained glass window, haven't you? That's quite famous. That's quite a famous stained glass window. <gasps> Might have found an open doorway to go in. So let's see. Can you video in there? Let's see. Sorry, so we'll <laughs> <strip down below. laughs> not really. We're not really. We're not religious at all. But it's just a day out, and it's like buildings, isn't it? And stuff. That is just like totally amazing up there. Lake Tooley. So let's see if we can go in. I can't see, can't really see the. It's too sunny. <laughs> ah, I think the famous um, stained glassy bit is behind there. Yeah. Look. Yeah, that's the organ pipes and trumpets and stuff. There's the organ. Sorry, what? Ooh. I don't know if I can zoom in, I won't let me zoom in. a memorial to Abbot Ansgar Bonnier, who survived the ship shipwreck and became Abbot of this site in 1906. In 1904, he found the uh, foundations of the original Abbey and started building with one German steam mixer and five other men. They had five pounds in a kitty and a horse and cart they borrowed from the local farmer. Alright, oh, okay. Um, the last thing was put in place in 1937 and the abbot died in 1938. This so is what you can hear. I take it it's a good look or something to rub his hands because they seem a bit like shiny. It's very warm. Yeah. Should I give his little hands a look? God, a bit of colour. His fingers are cold. Oh, they're freezing cold. Let's, let's warm up the hands, my love. And then his nose is just as shiny. Yeah, his so. nose is just as shiny. And mm. his other fingers. Oh. So, I don't think there's anybody in here because you're not meant to talk. There's people in here. But that is a modern y sort of stained glass window. I can't remember the story behind it. But it's quite a famous.
same as in, I don't know if it's famous in Britain, but I think it's quite famous here in the southwest. Anyway, and some sort of, I have no idea, no idea what that is. Is there any waiting to see? No. Oh. And a blank bit there. That's there's that. But yeah. What's that say? Hang on. I'll be back in a bit there. It still looks too far away. Oh. I think on the mirror, when I look at it with my eyes, the image massive. is massive, but on the screen, it's really tiny. Oh, sorry about that, people. That must be some sort of technical thing, isn't it? There. I hope that helps. Well, that was book fast, Abby. Would you come here again? No, I don't know. Don't know. It's not one. Yeah, it's not something we come back to. Like you say, it's done. Not religious. We're not religious. So it's not like a thing we'd come back to time after again. Um, yes, yeah, so it's done. Maybe other people, you could come and have a look at it and see what you think. Nice little couple of hours. Nice couple of hours to kill. Not literally kill. Um, lots of seagulls, what are they looking for? Yeah. Don't know. Um, yeah, so we, we've done it now, so that's that. And it's very local, sort of very low. How far is it from where we live? Weird. Uh, 22 miles. Is it 22? I yeah. thought it seems quicker because... Right, anyway, so we now need to go and find somewhere to have something to eat. We're starving. Fading away. Oh, there's toilets there. Yeah, so it has got everything you need. I think it would be quite busy um, in the summer, but not now. Let me show you this. Back at Colin. Yeah, we parked in the um, coachy bit in the car park. There's no other coaches. There's no coaches going to turn up now. Um, so, yeah, anyway, yes, look. Got to fill some more in. We filled quite a few on Steve, didn't we? Yes. So we've got to take poor, poor old Colin, poor old Steve, but we've got to take Colin now um, on the trip of his life. He's already been there twice. He's probably already, has he? Everywhere. Oh, he's already been everywhere. How do you know? I don't. You don't, you're just guessing. Okay.